What's up, people? Welcome to the channel where we talk about music production, music licensing, and music business. If you love any of the previously mentioned, be sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date on my latest content. Uh, so I got a pretty cool tutorial for you guys today, um, and it's dealing with vocals and kind of pitch shifting. Um, if you don't know already, Logic Pro X has, or Logic Pro 10 has uh, a feature kind of like Melodyne, just built right into Logic Pro, uh, which is pretty dope because you don't have to spend an extra, a extra bill to, to, you know, pretty much have, have vocal correction and, um, you know, pitch shifting capabilities. Um, so this is super dope and it's pretty easy to do. Um, so I'm going to walk you through how to do it. I used it on this track that I produced not too long ago. Um, so I'll play kind of what I have and then I'll walk you through what I did to kind of create um, or to kind of tune and pitch the vocals that you hear. Uh, so this is the joint. So that's the joint, um, and as you can hear, uh, you have the, the vocals, and I'll solo those so you can hear these. Okay, so um, the lower vocal was actually my vocal. That was me singing. And what I wanted to do was kind of add a, a like another octave or it may even be two octaves higher just to create like a dope vibe. Um, so what I did was I took the original file here and pretty much just copied it to the second track, um, Vox 2. And um, then what I did from there was just... Um, well, here, I'll show you. It's easier for me to show you. Um, so, okay, say we already copied it. <clears throat> we'll open this file up. Um, and then as you can see, I already have flex pitch um, enabled. So let me, let me get out of here and show you guys how I had it enabled. Okay, so <clears throat> on this screen, if you hit Command F, you'll have this uh, this flex window open. Um, if you like edited drums or anything like that, um, then you've probably used this feature before. Um, I know I've used it flex time, rhythmic, and um, polyphonic, and or polyphonic, however you want to say it, um, and mono and auto and all that stuff. Well, there's a flex pitch feature on here which um, is great for vocals um, so once you hit command F and then you pull this menu up you're gonna select flex flex pitch and then you can hit command F again to kind of minimize everything and then you'll be able to it'll probably start out <clears throat> on the file menu but if you go over here to track then this is where you kind of see um, the keyboard and the step t type of um, window where you can kind of shift and, and move different notes. Um, so here I pretty much just highlighted all of these notes and then just dragged them until, let's see if this is, let's unmute this. Okay. And pretty much just drag them until I got the note that I wanted. You can go as low or as high as you want. <laughs> you can even create like cool harmonies if you really want to get into it. You can change just one note. You can change the length of it. 
see how it kind of stretches everything so it's really cool um if you haven't used it i would definitely recommend just going diving into it and just being creative man seeing what you come up with is great even if you're just doing regular vocals you know and there's like a couple notes off and you don't want like that auto-tune sound you can just go and select those individual notes and um you know and just tune them a little bit so everything sounds solid and clean um, so that is the flex pitch feature in logic pro x if you like the video please be sure to like share subscribe and i'll catch you guys on the next one peace